Now what we want to do is we want to uh, turn on check in and check out. Now if you're not familiar with checking in and checking out a document is, think about a, a standard library. If you have a book and you check it out, no one else can edit that, uh, that, that uh, I'm sorry, no one else would be able to read that book. Same goes for, for a document. If you check it out, no one else can modify that document while you are using the document and it helps prevent you know, uh, basically people overwriting uh, in each other's work. So we're going to go once again to library and library settings and then version settings. And here we're going to just go ahead and click required documents to be checked out before they can be edited. So I'll press OK. OK, we'll go back to our recipes document library. And now what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and click context menu and click check out. Now what this means is that you're able to save a copy of the document onto your machine. So the best way to describe this is as an example. All of these documents right now are on the server. Just say you wanted to modify a document but you had to go on a plane trip and you wanted to edit the document you know, while you're on the plane. You obviously aren't connected to the server. So what you need to do is actually save a copy to your, your local machine or, you know, say your laptop. And you can do that by clicking this Use My Local Drafts Folder. For now, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to uncheck that. We're going to press OK. And now you'll see that it's checked out by the little uh, checkout um, icon. And what we can do now is we can edit it in Microsoft Word. Okay, now that April Apple is open once again, we'll change the, uh, the recipe to one and a half uh, tablespoons of vanilla. We'll go back up here and instead of going to save, we're actually going to go to server and then we're going to go to uh, check in. And this will actually automatically save the document. We can save the document and keep it checked out, but right, uh, we'll go ahead and just save here. And you can see it's saving. And if I go back up to here, and let's see here, 116. So it looks like it did update the modified view, but you'll notice it's still checked out. So what we'll do is we'll just go back up here once again, server, check in. I'm actually going to put in a comment uh, that will allow all the users to know what actually occurred. Change recipe. Okay, and then I'm going to press OK. And now you'll notice to modify this document, you must check it out because we just checked it into the server. Go ahead and close out of that. And now I hit refresh. And we should notice that little uh, green checkout mark is now uh, not there. So now if we go back to April Apple, we go to version history, and you actually see we're on version 3 now, and you actually see the comment that says, uh, you know, change recipe. So that actually helps when there's a group of users working on a, a document or a team working on a few different types of documents, you can actually see what, uh, you know, what everyone has been working on and what people have changed. So lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to check out one more document, but this time we're going to check it out to our local drafts folder. So what I'm going to do is edit in Microsoft Word, and you'll notice uh, it'll automatically ask me to check out, check out and edit. I'm going to make sure that this is still in my local drafts folder and press OK. And now you'll see it, it opened up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to where that's stored on the computer. Now if you go to Start, Documents, SharePoint Drafts, you'll notice that the Chocoholic recipe is in our Documents uh, or SharePoint Drafts now. And that'll allow us to edit the document without actually being connected to the server. So we'll go ahead and add more chocolate. So we'll go ahead and add six tablespoons of cocoa. Go ahead and check that back in. And again, when I go ahead and check it in, it'll automatically save. So, added more of the good stuff. Press OK. 
And you also notice you can keep the document checked out after checking in the uh, version. And once again, you'll see the uh, document now must be checked out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, our SharePoint site. We'll go ahead and hit refresh. And we'll notice that uh, green check mark or green check out uh, has now disappeared and is back to the normal icon. And that's it. So uh, one thing about uh, SharePoint 2010 is there's a ton of functionality with documents, record management, workflows, and things like that. And this is, uh, you know, again, it's just touching the surface. And we're going to be talking about all of, uh, all of the, the features in our uh, future videos. Uh, but again, uh, we just wanted to introduce you to the basics this time. So uh, once more, thank you for joining us and I uh, hope to see you next time.